Hey guys, it's Amy. I am going to show you a Joseph Coates kind of project. Um, I've got some different colors and we're going to add them with a black background. It's kind of weird, but it's beautiful all in the same breath. I've picked out a pattern. I don't know what it's going to look like, but we're going to try it out and give it a whirl and at least you'll learn how to make this background. Um, I don't know if I'll end up making a card with it, but I can at least teach you that. All right, we'll see you here on the flip side. Just a second. I'm a ugly mug. There you go. All right. As you can see, I've been practicing and I have learned. This is what I did earlier. I, I just kind of wanted to see what I liked. And I don't like this pattern. This pattern is great probably for other things, but not for this. I like these squares and I like the leaf. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use those two images out of the good things. I might even use some um, out of tasteful touches. I might even use some of this just to give it something different. Just because I did not like this image. This image didn't look good at all doing that particular. Let's see what we come up with. To start, you're going to need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. My piece of cardstock is just regular Whisper White cardstock, standard. Um, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I don't mind my black fingers. We are going to take some colors. I have picked some summery colors. Coastal Cabana, or not Coastal Cabana. Yes, Coastal Cabana, Calypso Coral, and Highland Heather. So we're going to need sponges for each of those. And I have them already. So I just have to figure out which sponge goes with which so that I don't double dip in my colors. Okay. Yeah, we're literally going to cover this in those colors. And I don't want a lot of this Calypso Coral because I don't like the way it looks with the black. Um, so we're just going to kind of do a little. I'm only going to do like three little spots. And I don't want it to be uber dark. I might put four here, a little light when I do. But I really like the way it looked with the Coastal Cabana and the Highland Heather. I thought those were beautiful. There we go. Let's put this Highland Heather in. And remember, you don't really want your other colors to constantly touch each other. I mean, you don't want two shades of purple sitting side by side. I mean, you can do that, but it doesn't generally look all that great. So I'm going to kind of put them beside this Calypso Coral so I can have different shades of it coming out and we can see them through the black. Okay, now let's see. Put Coastal Cabana in there. Well, let's just leave the leave this one open. We're gonna see if, what we get. You better leave this on here. I'll have my desk coastal cabana colors. Uh -huh. La la la, there are also blending tools that will look much better for this. Um, I don't have one. Um, most people are getting them on Amazon. Stampin' Up! does not sell them at the moment. So I have a lot of Calypso Coral in here, which is all right. I mean, I think I want some more of this purple. But it'll be a different shade of purple because I'm going to put it on this Coastal Cabana already. Darken that one up. Here we go. I think that's good. All right. Now we're going to cover these because if not, I will have ink everywhere. I already have it all over me. Move those out of our way. Now I'm going to take the square and I've got the leaf and I have the, um, it's just a, a leaf and a branch, I guess, a flourish or a foliage of sorts. So we're going to take some Versa Mark. And we're going to stamp these. I'm going to start with this one because I really like this one. And I kind of want to do a square pattern. 
and we're going to go just bring those squares right down. And you want to make sure you get enough first to mark on there so that it will stay. Here we go. We've got a row of bricks, so to speak. And I'm going to put them on both sides. And the center is going to just be some leaves and some feathers. There we go. And then I'm going to put, let's try this. I mean, I didn't do this before, but we'll try it. We'll alternate. I think we can do it like this. And I can put this one in the middle. It may overlap. I'm not sure that I want it to overlap, but we'll see what happens. All right, that's I think all I'm going to get on there. And then you're going to take your clear embossing powder and you're going to heat cut that. And I do it on a slick piece of cardboard from the back of our um, DSP. And I just let it all go. I don't really particularly care. It can all spill out for all I care. There we go. Oh, that's going to be cool. We did have a little over right here, but that, that should be all right. I'm going to put this to the side while I put all of this wonderful embossing powder back in its container. And try not to hit my camera. All right, there we go. That's all back in there. Brush off any extra. I don't want it to heat set everywhere. Now I'm going to turn on the heat, the heat gun. So you, it'll get a little loud for a minute. So I'm just going to swirl around a little bit until it starts to um, melt. And once it does that, I will move it all over the whole place. And you won't see the final project of this until we put the black on it, which is going to be memento ink. And it's melting nicely. All right, we're almost done. Here we go. Now you get to see the magic happen. The magic is so cool. You're gonna just take plain old memento ink. Now you could sponge this on if you'd like, but I'm just gonna swirl it on just to make sure I cover everything. Sorry about the phone call. We shouldn't be getting phone calls, but you know, it is what it is. And I'm gonna scrub really good around these little squares because I wanna make sure it covers them. And this is using a lot of memento ink, but the image is worth it. All right, I'm gonna make sure we get in there really well and in here, because I want those squares to come out and be individual. So you can see them. Same with these lovely little um, flowers and leaves. I want all of the leaves to be individual. All right, I'm going to give it a few seconds to dry up some. And then I'm just going to take a damp cloth for my fingers, a baby wipe or whatever you have. And then I'm going to take a dry cloth and I'm going to rub over my little embossed images. And look at that. Look how beautiful.
And this will become a beautiful card. I think I need a little more memento over here. That's because it's the coral. And the Calypso coral does not come out very well with just the pure black. There we go. That looks better. All right. There's your piece. And you can do anything you want with this. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the way it looks. It gives it a little pattern. Um, I'm going to make a card with this. And I will show it to you on my blog. And I hope to see you next time. And remember, I will be doing vlogs now live every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I hope to see you then. Have a great day. Bye, guys.